Greetings Internet, today I want to talk about headphones and how I have never been able to find a pair that I am 100% happy with. Let's start off small with some earbuds. The problem I have with these the most is that they just never seem to fit. These days you get all sorts of little plastic things you can interchange when you buy a set, but I've never found any that fit my ear. But you only get a decent sound quality out of these when they're securely fastened in your ears, but the only way I can ever find to do that is by holding them in. And then with any kind of light activity, they just fall out. The thought of people being able to do things like jogging while wearing AirPods, for example, just seems like magic to me. I got these Samsung Galaxy earbuds with my latest phone, but while these are slightly more secure, I still can't imagine trusting them while walking out of doors, maybe sat down doing something at a desk. The problem with these I find is that they do such a good job of blocking the ear canal, is that I can hear everything going on inside my head. I can hear my breathing, I can hear my jaw moving, and I just find that extremely off-putting. And that's kind of similar to another problem I have with headphones in general, particularly when I'm outside, is that I don't like not being able to hear my surroundings. I don't like being disconnected from the world. I find not being able to hear the sounds around me very disconcerting. And so that's why my favourite small form factor headphones are in fact these bone conduction ones. Rather than sending sound waves directly down your ear canal, they vibrate the bones in your skull to send the sound through that way. They also clip over the ear, which gets over the always falls out of my ear design. And you know, for the size and the way they work, I actually think they sound really good. But they are not without their drawbacks, because you can still hear what's going on in the world around you. Sometimes the noises in the world around you can overpower the sound. For example, sitting on the back seat of a bus right in front of a loud diesel engine. Engine. I'm also not the biggest fan of the solid band around the back, which only just fits around my head. I would much prefer something that was a, you know, a slightly longer flexible wire, so it could be more adjustable for different size heads. Although I guess when these things are really designed with things like cyclists and runners in mind, so they can hear traffic while they're exercising, I guess they're going for a more secure fit than that. So yeah, these are my preferred out and about headphones, but definitely not without their drawbacks. They also require charging, there's a battery on them, although the charging cable is the same as your phones, thankfully. When it comes to larger headphones, the main problems I have are nearly always the same too, and that's big head, sticky out ears. You have a small set like these, for example, and it's just so strained to even get around your head and they're already squishing my ears in and additionally this pair in particular has a braided cable which is normally a good thing but this this just happens to just rub on your clothing just in a wrong way that you can hear the vibration of that through the entire set of headphones again ruining the experience so yeah unfortunately cheap ones that don't sound very good and don't fit very good. I wish my ears so much it would be painful to wear for more than say half an hour. I've got these low-end Sennheiser ones which were my main go-to headphones for quite a long time. These ones actually fit around my head without too much pressure and have ear cups that actually just fit over my ears. And I actually won these in a competition so I didn't actually pay for them. So pretty good value all things considered, but at this point they are showing their age and the, uh, the foam is not very good quality anymore. These days they are mainly reserved for my electronic drum kit, which I don't play very often. I've also got these Creative Fatality brand ones. I don't actually remember when or why I bought these, but I'm guessing they were probably an attempt at replacing the Sennheiser ones. They have a similar fit, although it's a bit too much pressure on the head, although that would probably lessen if I used them regularly. But still, the ear cups are a bit smaller, it's pressing my earlobes into my head, and that would get uncomfortable after a short amount of use. It's not something I can wear long term. Although in general the foam is fairly soft, so you know, you might, I might get an hour or two before it starts being painful. And these ones do have the gaming potential of an additional microphone attachment. But still, these have been sat in a drawer for 
who knows how long. I just, I guess I never really got on with them. I guess maybe possibly soon after that was when I bought a laptop that happened to come with another pair of headphones. I don't have many of them anymore. I recently gave them away to a friend due to them being not used, but for a while they were my most comfortable headphones. I know I use them in Google Hangouts for quite a while. I'll see if I've got a screenshot of me wearing them. Insert here. But during said era of when I was doing regular Google Hangouts, I decided that I would try some wireless headphones. And that's when I got these Logitech Bluetooth ones, which are incredibly massive. These ones also have a built-in microphone, but it's not one I use particularly often. I usually have one on a standalone arm. These ones have ear cups big enough to completely cover my ear and create a solid seal, which gives them excellent sound quality. Although after a few hours, the pressure on your head side of your head is still a bit much for me. Sometimes I can even fe feel my pulse through them. And of course, being wireless, you also have to charge them. So sometimes you'll be in the middle of a game or a conversation and it'll start beeping in your ear giving you a warning that you know you need to plug these in fairly soon and so that's my saga of headphones i've tried various others over the years these are just the ones i still happen to own and have on me and could find quickly my favorites bone conduction for when i'm out and about massive bluetooth when i'm sat on the computer but neither of which i am 100 percent happy with and the search for headphones continues so you know if you have any recommendations or comments or suggestions please leave those in the comments down below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again tomorrow